Our Daughters Like Pillars will open soon at the Huntington Theatre Company. It's a comedy about a vacationing family. The playwright, Kirsten Greenwich, has a pretty extraordinary one of her own. She's had plays produced around the country. Her sister Carrie is an historian who wrote Black Radical, one of the best-reviewed books of last year. And her other sister Caitlin is a writer and novelist with one of the best-reviewed books of 2016, called We Love You, Charlie Freeman. I recently sat down with all three Greenwich sisters. Kirsten, Carrie, Caitlin, Greenwich, thank you so much for being here. So this is hilarious because, Kirsten, I've had you on the show before. We, we know each other. Then I met you, Carrie, and then you told me about Caitlin. And I thought, what is in your cornflakes as children that you all grew up to have the success? But So, Kirsten, I'll start with you. Uh, how do you describe who your sisters are and the, the fact that you've all risen to these great heights already? Um, well, my sisters are some of the best uh, ladies I know. I'm really excited to be related to them. Um, uh, they are like my partners in crime. I have no idea what, what happened, except that we were um, we just spent a lot of time together uh, being creative in our living room. I think that's how part of it started a long time ago. A lot of free time to write together, uh, play together, and a lot of singing together. I think yes. that's how it started. You felt freedom, and I understand you were reading Pushkin and, and playing the cello. Yes. So you, you, you were in it from a very early age, it sounds like. Yeah, I think, I think we all were just very um, um, into reading things. My mother used to say, you know, if you're bored, it's uh, because you're boring. <laughs> um, <laughs> so you shouldn't be bored, you should find something to do. So I think we were just always encouraged to uh, play together, to um, do something instead of just kind of mope around. <laughs> well, Caitlin, were there limits, or were you just given free reign as you were coming up? Oh, uh, I mean, there were definitely limits. I think the things that were given free reign were um, what we could, what kind of culture we could consume. So um, nothing was really off limits. Um, we could read whatever we'd like or usually watch whatever we'd like within reason, you know? We are all trailblazers in, in what you're doing. Kirsten, I read that you... You didn't realize until a little bit later in life, until seeing an August Wilson play, that you could even be a playwright. So how, how did you find yourself? That field trip where I went to go see August Wilson's Return is Coming Gone and thinking, oh my gosh, that's what I am, uh, and realizing that that had to come out of me no matter what it was called was really important. Uh, and having um, parents who uh, allowed me to do that and said, yes, this is who you are, um, find a way to, to do that. You both had books selected as best books of the year in their respective years. You've had your plays. How, how do you interact with one another, support one another? I'm just so um, proud of my, my sisters and my, um, just my family in general. Because I'm a historian, both of their creativity encourages me to be more creative in the history. Um, and so I'm also very inspired by stuff that they're doing. Both of them are very tapped into culture and politics and reading. So any book they're reading, I'm like, oh, I should be reading that. How often do you talk? Oh, <laughs> I think it just it's a constant conversation. <laughs> yes. It is a constant conversation. Yes. Yeah, it's almost, I don't find it overwhelming at all. Um, it, but it is like, you know, a 6 a.m. text of, did you see this? Did you hear this? Yeah. Um, and it, it, conversations um, pick up and die down uh, almost seamlessly. We just figured out how to do uh, meld calls. I know, and we just so figured it out. That is great because now we can all talk at the same time yes. on one telephone call without doing speaker. Well, how free are you with each other to share ideas, to, to criticize constructive criticism? I think we share ideas. Someone asked me this recently, like, do you share work and then um, pass work back and forth and like, you know, edit people's work? We do not do that. As children, we would pass things around. Oh, yes. And then we all went through a phase where we became very sensitive. Um, uh. And so I think there was like an unspoken thing that we then stopped <laughs> passing things around that. We, but we always, I mean, I always know what everyone is kind of working on or looking at and so the great thing is like Caitlin will say oh I'm reading this researching this for my novel and I read this and I'll be like oh I'll then go and find it. And our work over, overlaps a lot. Um, I'm in rehearsal now for a play an actor came up to me and said you know your sister uh, uh, refers to the mother in in her book this way. So it's really interesting how our work overlaps but we don't do not usually hand each other um, um, proofs or galleys or something and, and say here 
uh, check this out and, and give me redline anything. Yeah. We haven't done that in a long time. Well, you mentioned the play, which is Our Daughters Like Pillars, mm -hmm. and this is about a family over the weekend. Are we to glean that you're writing about your own family? No, it is. It, is, it, is, it draws from my life, but it was um, inspired by a book uh, by Dorothy West called uh, uh, The Living is Easy, and uh, in it, sisters come and live together, and it's about that journey. And... Um, Inspired a little bit by living together, but but I think the <laughs> sisters in that book um, and in in the play are a little bit different than us in that they are um, perhaps not as kind to each other. I would mm -hmm. say without giving away too much. Mm -hmm. And Caitlin, you're a novelist mm -hmm. and and you write the nonfiction pieces as we see in the New York Times too. How feel how free do you feel to draw from the family and in, in your experiences? Um, pretty, I mean, they always say, write what you know. Yeah, uh, pretty free. I mean, a couple of the pieces that I've done for the New York Times have, have been about either trips that we've taken together or about um, experiences that we've had as sisters. Um, and I think probably just because of how we grew up, I'll always be interested in writing about that relationship in some sort of way. So we've seated you in birth order here. <laughs> Maybe I won't tell the audience in which order, but does birth order matter in your family? Do you, do you see things play out f for that way? We often sit in this order <laughs> and people, people have said to my mom, like, did you know they're sitting in their birth order? Mm -hmm. So it's, 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 it's something that we've done, done before. I am the oldest and I often uh, can be quite bossy and that is okay with me. Mm -hmm. That's fine. <laughs> I will own that. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that's just <laughs> so look at Carrie staring at me. That's just that's just part of who yes. I am mm -hmm. in the in this in this family. I mm -hmm. think birth order. Uh, I don't think you can always escape that. And I'm, I'm the middle one, so I think, you know, I think I, it's. Uh, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I think birth order definitely does matter. I think it plays out in your relationships. What's also been interesting to me is just seeing like the generational thing that you wouldn't think of. Um, we're not that much older than Caitlin, but. Um, you know, I'm four and a half years older than Caitlin, and Kirsten's seven and a half years. You didn't have to call it ages. <laughs> yeah, I know. What's wrong with you? <laughs> um, but, but so just to see like the, the slightly different perspective. Yeah, they're Generation X, and I am a very old millennial. So it's like, <laughs> and when we make fun of millennials, Caitlin will be like, "What? Well, I'm a millennial." Yeah. <laughs> Well, it has been such a pleasure to have you all here and talk to you. I've been wanting to do this ever since we met on I that know. shoot. I'm so delighted. Carrie, Caitlin, Kirsten, Greenwich, thank you all so much for being here. Thank, thank you. Thanks for having us. <laughs>